Hey guys, what's happening? This is Chris back with you guys. Um, I didn't, I didn't run away. I promise. Uh, what we were doing was putting a little something together for our viewers. Um, I was sitting around thinking one time, and I'm saying, man, I, you know, I'd love to be able to have this information that we have. We're trying to share, and when I say we, I'm talking about UFA, the United Family uh, of Anomaly Hunters. Uh, to try to figure a way to get together and share this. But more importantly, I was talking to a neighbor of mine, and we started talking about space, the space program, and I was really uh, uh, happy that he was actually had some good knowledge of it. Uh, he's an older gentleman, so he remembers a lot of the moon videos and so on and so forth, or I shouldn't say moon videos, but the actual missions, and then, of course, he watched videos too. But I said, yeah, yeah, you need to check out these pages up on Facebook. There's like 10, 12, even, even more than that now. He says, yeah, I don't do Facebook. And why a lot of people don't care to because it takes your personal information. So I can understand that. So I said, what's the best way to do this? Well, I come up with this idea to get the site together, get a site together that we can um, uh, make it a one-stop shop, if you will. So you guys can actually bookmark this page and you'll have all kinds of information right there at your fingertips. You put it on your tablet, your phones, whatever you want to do, bookmark it and you'll find a lot of it. Now, what we did was, and you can see this logo... This is the United Family of Anomaly Hunters, and you can see my uh, logo here. You've got uh, Joe from uh, Art Alien, uh, and you've got all of these here, you know, uh, Coach Billy, Thomas. You've got all of these other people that are also in this, in this, uh, in this uh, Anomaly Hunters, this family, if you will. Um, so what we decided, I said, listen, I had all these kind of ideas. I was talking with Joe about it. He says, well, I can do that. I've, I've done plenty of sites, and uh, he's got some templates to build a site. So he ran with it. And I got to admit, he did a great job of this. But what, well, not but, but in addition to that, I said, look, let's do this. Why don't we make it most simplistic as possible? In other words, it's not going to be like a free-for-all site. It's basically like a, a hub, if you will, for uh, links to not only are you going to be able to see what's on there, the latest videos, but you're also going to be able to see, go right to the YouTube page as well as their Facebook. Let me show you what the site looks like. So here it is right here, and I'm going to give you guys a quick walking through. So um, you can see the site is pretty simplistic. There's, there's, like I said, there's 12 logos, but right now we got eight, two, four, six, eight different uh, channels right now, or pages, if you will. Now you might say, well, well, there's only eight. I mean, there's not a whole lot, but it's not the amount of channels. It's what's involved with each of them. Now, as you can see, you've got myself, you've got Joe from uh, Art Alien, you've got Rami uh, Ba Elan, um, you've got Thomas uh, Jensen from Mars Moon Space TV, you've got Everybody Knows Will as well, uh, Will Farrar, you've got Martine Graney, Neville Thompson, as well as Billy, uh, Coach Billy Carson, which is uh, Forbidden Knowledge. Now, th w the cool thing about it, I said, let's make this simplistic, and that any anyone you click on, you can go to their page. So let me show you. Let's uh, let's go to Will's just for um, an example. And what I'm going to show you is what it's 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 pretty simple. It's pretty cool. Um, it's like a, again, it's a one-stop shop link page, if you will. Uh, so it'll pretty much take you anywhere. Um, and that's what we wanted. This is exactly what we wanted to do. Um, that's running pretty slow today. Uh, that's because I got my I'm taxing my computer a little bit there. I'm doing some other work too as well uh, between you know. Photoshop being open, all kinds of stuff. I mean, you name it. All right, here's a good example. He's got like one, two, three, four players. And you'll see right here, he's got a little um, information at the bottom. But here's what's cool. This was, you can see right here, if you click on this little drop-down box, he has one of 68. Okay, one of 68 videos he decided to make available for, for people. Okay, and then you can see it, and you can click on any one of these and watch it. So that was pretty easy right there. Same thing with this one here. And you can do the same thing. Click on any one of these. He's got this one. here's one of nine. So on and so forth. And the same players do the same thing. So that makes it interesting. But this one, it gets even cooler. You can jump to his YouTube page. You can, you can jump to just about all of these. Any one of them is going to have his own page as well as his Facebook. Now, if you're not familiar with, I mean, uh, not Facebook. Well, you have Facebook as well. So you want to go on the Facebook and this way he can see his page there too. So let me show you that. Get it to go off. Um, you can go to his YouTube or his Facebook. Either one is fine. You can just get to either one of them. So the cool thing about this is that, again, it's a one-stop shop. You can get all people's uh, information right through the one site. Um, I'm also doing a lot of... Man, this thing is really taxing his computer. But that's okay. 
it, it'll do it'll it'll do exactly what we wanted to do so again you can go right to his page and it's not just his work this is what's cool a lot of times you'll find that it's other people also contributing to it like he was on the other side of midnight uh you know with uh, uh keith laney uh, and of course you've got richard uh, hoagland so on and so forth and he's got a lot of stuff now a lot of these pages and i'm going to jump off this real quick a lot of these pages like mine here i can jump to anything on mine um just like his and i've got the same thing you can jump onto my youtube you can jump onto my facebook page itself where it has um all kinds of information as well so you know i'm again i was thinking what would be the best way to have everything all in one well this is the best way i could figure it out again i've got one of ten and you can see right here i can scroll down this is my latest videos ten of them latest ones you can click on that you want to see more than just that jump on the youtube page uh, you've got this one here i put together as a list it's a quick list of you know what i thought was cool videos um and, you know, one of the top ones I thought were pretty good. And then you've got all moon videos. Now, I'm going to also make other playlists. I can put another playlist underneath this. And this is basically uh, all moon videos, if you will. So you can check that as well. But if you want to check out more, click on the YouTube. Want to check out the Facebook? Jump on that too. You can go to... The, the good thing about this on this on my Facebook page is what I'm going to try to do. Um, and I've already started doing this. It's just that I had... Um, I've been doing a lot of this and trying to come up with some more information and details to put on the site. Um, but what you're going to find is I'm going to put a lot of the latest space news on here. So you guys can see all of that. And you can see, um, like if we scroll down, let me see it here. We can scroll down a little bit here and we can see that the latest stuff, if the Facebook would work, this would be great. Um, and you can see like the latest stuff. Now, this is the 14th. You can see the, the, the date, but that's because it's a couple of days ago. But all of this latest information and got to do it space, it will pop up on there. Um, if you want to make this, you know, everybody jump on this Facebook page and like it. And you'll have, you know, you can like it and then actually have uh, a link. Every time I post something, it'll come up on your phone, tablet, PC, whatever it is. So, you know, this is what I'm saying. It's everything that's added together is what makes the site cool. Um, Nev T. Now, a lot of times he hasn't done any really uh, videos. He has done a few, um, does a great job of them. But what he's more valued for, and at least it's my personal opinion, is that we call him the Gigapan Master. Because this, this guy actually has his shit go going on. He's got his down pat. So I want you guys to check this out because um, what he does, he stitches a bunch of these solve photos together. So now he's got one of 48, and you can see this right here in this click down box. You can see it right there. It says one of 48. Click on any one of those. Da, 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 da. There's a lot of the UFA videos as well as some of his own work. Uh, he's got, and you can see right here, there's another player. So on and so forth. So, and you can see him, he's doing his own video here. But this is what's crazy. Check this out. Again, more information than more than meets the eyes, but it's simplistic. We can go ahead and click on this here. And what it's going to do is going to take you to his Gigapan page. What I like about Gigapans is simply this, is that there's all kinds of solves. Let's pick anything randomly. Let's do 101. This is 101. I mean, 1101 sol to 1200. Okay. Think about that a minute. So you've got like just about 100 sols in one Gigapan. So, well, it depends on the picture too. As you can see, there's one, two, three, four, five. Now this may be divided. I'm not sure exactly how many's in there, but let's say it's five solves. Like a lot of times you go on NASA's uh, JPL site and you go like this, you click on it, you just see just this picture or just this picture, but he puts it all in one. The good thing about it is when you go on this and click on it, you can zoom in on it. It's not just a simple picture and that's it. You can zoom on these things. Um, like we can click on this one here and I'm going to show you what this does here. This is pretty cool. Um, and you guys have seen me actually tell you about uh, Neville Thompson's page. You can go ahead and subscribe to him as well. Um, but what's cool about this is, like I said, you can see the, the many different pans. Or I should say solves, I'm sorry. One, two, three. And you can see all of these top. These are all different solves. And these may be smaller pitches, like all in one, and it's all added and stitched together. Now, if you want, make it one page. Just go like this, and then zoom right in. You can zoom into this thing till the cows come home, or at least pretty damn close to where it either it gets too close, it'll just be distorted. So you want to back a little bit, but here's the thing. Two things. One, you can zoom in like mad, but what's even better about it is that you can, um, you can see exactly what that area is in. In other words, the whole area is laid out for you. So yeah, pretty cool stuff, guys. I mean, this is, 
And he's, like I said, he's done this thing. I mean, he's got a ton of these things, man. This is, this is just crazy. Now, if you want to, you can go, you've got these. And you've seen the list of them, man. He's got a ton of these things. Um, we can go like this again. Um, go, right, go right here. Click on it again. Well, I actually went backwards. We didn't have to do that. Um, we can go to his PDS Gigapen. PDS is the, like the finished product. It takes like 30 to 60 days. I think it's like 60 days to get the real quality pictures. So then he takes these quality ones and also throws them together. And you can see right here, uh, Gigapen's new site. And you'll see these things. Like I said, this is just awesome. Um, you know, most people complain, well, you know, it's just a lot of work to go up there and get these, uh, these separate solves you know, these separate pictures, so on and so forth. Well, you no longer have to do that. Um, this is what's cool, too. Curiosity Rover, Panoramas, Image Sites, Info. He's put this all together and, and compiled it with Midnight Planets. Uh, latest images, sites, solves, you know, turn, you know, all kinds of stuff. You know, you've got news about links. And everybody who knows when you go to Midnight Planets, guess what it does? It actually has all of the rovers right down to... Uh, I'm not sure about the Sojourner, but it definitely has Spirit, Opportunity, and, of course, Curiosity Rover. Um, uh, MSL Mosaics. It's got it all listed here, guys. It's just all simplistic. It's simplistic. You want to go to his uh, Facebook, you can do that. You want to go to his YouTube, you can do that. So I wanted to share this with you guys. I didn't want to make it too long, but I wanted to show you guys. And you can see right here, it says Anomaly Hunter Super Channel. This is bringing uh, together the top you for researchers and show, uh, showcasing their best videos and material. It's all a one-stop shop. Um, Joe's even put like a, a, a like a, his, his app he's got here. But check these out, guys. I think you'll like these, man. I, I think you'll like the site. It's 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 he built it faster than I thought it was. So anyway, Joe, uh, kudos to you for doing this. Um, I had all the ideas. We talked. I, he had ideas. We talked it over and talked it over with the rest of the uh, you for team uh, and the family members rather. And everybody was down with it and decided, hey, this is a great idea. It just like I said, it just gives everybody they can just go from one channel so to speak or page uh, any one of these here and then and then there's so many subcategories if you will um it just takes you just spiders off to different directions so uh it's easy there's no there's no clutter with comments so you don't have to hear people this that and the other if you want to comment in the videos go for it um as soon as you click on it and go to their youtube page or that particular video like i said if you click on one of mine i can go to uh I could just, instead of clicking on the actual video, where it has a play button right there in the center of it, I can simply just click on the link, and it'll take me right to my actual video. So, um, it, like I said, it's pretty easy, and, you know, I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't explain any easier. That's exactly what it is. Um, again, I can click here and just watch the video here in this uh, player, or I can click right here, and it takes me right to YouTube. Or you want to see all my rest of my videos? Click on it. And go to YouTube. Same thing with any of these uh, ladies and gentlemen here. Um, just check them out. So anyway, guys, I'm going to let you guys go for now. I do have some. I got another video come up. It was controversial. Um, it was. Uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. And everybody's seen this. This was like boom. This was like the bomb. Uh, I think just about every media covered this, and um, you know, and you're going to see exactly what I mean. That is coming up real soon. Stay tuned for that and look for that as well. Anyway, guys. Definitely share the page, share this video, but share this page. Go up in there, AnomalyHunters.tv, and you can see it um, uh, right here. AnomalyHunters.tv, bookmark it, and make it your one-stop shop to check out all the videos. Anyway, guys, I'm not going to keep you any longer. I know I probably went too fast for some of you guys, and that's just the way I am. I don't want <laughs> to drag it on forever, so I figured I'd make this as easy as, and quick as I could. So I apologize for anybody who thinks... You know, I'm just talking way too fast. Um, but anyway, uh, what do you guys think about this picture, man? It's pretty pretty cool, isn't it? Um, I like this picture. This was on... Um, I'm trying to remember if it was on... It was on one of the sites there. And I'm, I'm drawing a blank. I must be going blonde in my old age. But it kind of reminds me of something we always speculate that, you know, there might be life uh, under the surface of Mars. Uh, they had uh, tags, like hashtags of, like, Hollow Earth and so on and so forth. But to me, this looks like something you'd see on Mars because let's picture this as... The underground, and if you can, see, you, can, you can see some cracks through the actual uh, ceiling, if you will, and you can see daylight coming through. So is it possible, you know, picture uh, the top of uh, Mars, the, the Martian surface is all laid with uh, destruction and everything else, but just below the surface you've got thriving city, so on and so forth. Now, of course, that's pure speculation. It'd be a cool idea to, <laughs> to see that. But nonetheless, I think it was a cool picture. That's why I decided to use it. But anyway, guys, I'm not going to keep up too much more of your time. I'm not going to take it up. I'm going to let you guys rock and roll. 
Um, you know, thanks for watching as always and get ready for this next video. It's cool. Um, again, so much more than meets the eye and you guys are going to love this video. So anyway, like again, share the video. Give me your comments down below. Tell me what you think. If there's anything we can add to this video, I mean, uh, to the site um, to make it more uh, user friendly. And like I said, this is the reason why we did this. We try to make this as user friendly as possible. So it'd be easier on everybody just to click a link dun, 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 and it just takes you immediately there. Uh, nothing you got to type in. None of that crap. Uh, there's no comments on there to distort the page or anything simple. Uh, just make it your one-stop hub, um, and you just go to everybody's uh, channels, Facebook, and as well as YouTube. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciate it, and I will see you in the next video.